making fundamental change in healthcare that's extremely challenging. What's going to really change healthcare in America is a deep understanding of a better way to do the work. We can continue doing what we're currently doing, we'll continue to get what we're currently getting. It's a new reality, it's a different kind of marketplace. We've got to change the rules. So we're going to talk about specifically how you can change the rules for your organization. Dr. John Kanegi knows healthcare as a physician, executive, scholar, advisor, and patient. In addition to 20 years experience as a vascular surgeon, Dr. Kanegi has been Chief of Surgery, Chief of Staff, and Regional Vice President of Business Development for a multi-state healthcare delivery system. His view of healthcare changed when he fell out of a tree and broke his neck. So what's a doctor look like with a broken neck? Well, he looks kind of like this. So here I am reading JAM, and you can tell I'm a real doctor because I've got a Wall Street Journal there between my legs. <laughs> Obviously, I had a wonderful result because I stand in front of you. I am waving all four extremities. This is the, uh, I'm the epitome of a success story in modern day healthcare. You made your outcomes, made your outcomes. It was perfect, right? I had many wonderful things happen to me. But the thing that struck me the most was many of those wonderful things happened on the back of an individual going the extra mile to make sure I got what I needed, not what the system was trying to deliver to me. And that the system in and of itself actually not only didn't help much, actually could get in the way. I really felt we need to manage better. I joined the system and uh, relatively rapidly rose up through the ranks and I ended up a vice president for business development. The mantra for our executive team was, we just have to try harder. We gotta have to knuckle down and work harder. Well, this uh, perplexed me, working harder, because I was already working pretty hard. Now, on the other hand, I discovered that my needs as a clinician, what I needed, the flexibility, and the resources that I needed to meet the constantly changing needs of patients was a nightmare to me as an executive. Searching for answers beyond try harder, Dr. Kanegi earned a management degree from Harvard University. He was visiting scholar at Harvard Business School for four years where he researched innovative companies, Toyota, Intel, Southwest Airlines, companies that excelled when others failed to adapt and change. Dr. Kanegi's contributions have been widely recognized. Appointments at major teaching institutions, including Harvard, University of Pittsburgh, and University of Washington. Advisor and consultant to Microsoft. Published in journals as diverse as Harvard Business Review and Journal of the American Medical Association. The American College of Physician Executives awarded Service Quality in Healthcare Best Healthcare Management Article of the Year and Forbes magazine featured him as the man who would save healthcare. It really is new tools, a new lens in which to view your current competitive environment. Experts say you gotta break apart the bigger institutions. I don't believe that, frankly. And my interest is, because that's not healthcare. Healthcare doesn't work in that fashion, and we don't need more silos at the point of care. We don't need more silos at the point of care. The transactions costs between those silos are gigantic. Healthcare is a continuum. We need very large organizations that can work effectively, work differently than what we're doing right now. Be big, adaptive, flexible, and innovative, but is that an oxymoron? Is that possible? Is there a different way to work? I think there is. We have organizations that are spending millions and billions of dollars trying to improve their performance, when in fact the battle is really going to be won over access, customization, convenience, and low cost. If you look at all the great disruptive innovators as they develop their ideas, and if you look at Toyota now as a very large global organization, they follow a different set of rules. Under an adaptive design set of rules, we're gonna conserve resources, and we're gonna diversify risk. We're not gonna buy our way out of this problem. Instead of looking for high-tech solutions, you're gonna be looking for ingenuity. Skill development, is the focus. You can't learn this from a PowerPoint presentation. No meetings, no task forces. You need a work focus in your organization, not a meeting focus. And instead of perfect design, you're gonna be working with problem solving and building trust and optimism 
you're going to develop people. And it's the people are a fabulous resource for us in healthcare. You're going to give them a chance to have a purpose in what they do. That's the most rewarding part of this work for me. Tremendously rewarding to see the light in people's eyes when they have a chance to see that they can affect the system and make a difference and it makes a difference.